We are back in Dubai. Feels so good. And the first thing to do was bring this child back. Look at his reaction. He can't even believe we are finally back. Five weeks was too long. I always think I wish humans could communicate to dogs in a language exactly they understood, telling them that we will be back. The fear of separation from their family affects them, and I wish we could take them everywhere. Hi everyone and welcome back. For those of you new here, I'm Neetal and I'm from Goa. I live in Dubai with my family and I'm a mother to two boys. I make home and living videos, fashion, food, travel, vlogs, sharing little glimpses of my life with you. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Starting my day with some chai. Shubesh will be back to office today. He loves his morning protein milkshake while I will relish the chai. A break from the kitchen and the routine mundanes refreshes both the body and the mind, isn't it? Time for some alu paratha. I love adding raw onion to it. Gives it so much more flavors. If you haven't tried it already, then please do give it a try. To boiled alu, add chopped onion, green chilies, coriander leaves, choices of your masala with salt and then fill it in the dough.
I have made yoga compulsory for kids every day. Want them to get into this habit. Yoga from a young age makes the body flexible and the mind so stable during adolescence. Hopefully I'm successful as the kids are so unpredictable these days. Everyone prefers a different breakfast these days and I'm more than happy to cater to their palates as the big break from the kitchen is making me go into the kitchen now even more. <laughs> Does it happen to you all as well? सिर्फ चले कम हाई एवरी वन होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल सो आई एम बैक फ्रॉम माई वेकेशन इन इंडिया एंड अली अलॉट एंड आई एम बैक टू द ग्राइंड बैक इन दुबई एंड फील सो ग्रेट टू बी बैक इट वॉज रेनिंग रियली वेरी हैवली बैक इन इंडिया एंड वी हार्डली डिड anything productive we just wasted our time at home the kids couldn't go out they were bored ultimately so we are back now and uh, reunited with this guy this little guy and back to our home so more vlogs coming soon i promise and uh, now let's head with the day uh making some lunch and i'll see you time for lunch but before that let me share my new purchase with you all i love adding new cookware to my collection this visit to india my father in law gifted me these burgner cookware sets this pressure cooker is made of high ply steel and is of a superior quality making dal a simple tur dal try making dal this way and you will be sorted all in one in the cooker instead of first cooking the dal separately and then giving it a tadka in a pressure cooker add oil then add hing one chopped onion green chilies ginger garlic paste and saute it followed by one chopped tomato add salt red chili powder turmeric powder fry for some time till the tomatoes turn mushy then add the washed tur dal 2 cups of water and pressure cook to four whistles
After the pressure is released, add a pinch of garam masala, crushed kasuri methi, and the dal turns out so delicious. My next recipe is eggplant or bengan dry fry. A new recipe I saw on a reel. Again making it in a new cookware, the burgner pan. The steel quality is fantastic. Switching over to steel is a good choice for health. So first I will dry roast the spices for the powder. This powder will make a sufficient quantity for three times. Roast one fourth cup of chana dal, two spoons of urad dal, handful of peanuts, eight to ten dry red chilies, and one spoon of sesame seeds. Then grind this to a fine powder. In the same pan, add oil. mustard seeds curry leaves and then add the eggplant slices and cover it and cook Next, add turmeric powder and jaggery powder along with salt. Make some tamarind water and keep sprinkling it as the eggplant turns dry at intervals. Now, add the ground spice powder and cook till it's done. The recipe turned slightly mushy but was very tasty. For dinner, I made a finger licking tawa chicken recipe, sharing it with you all. Do give it a try as this was one of the tastiest chicken I ever had. Make it on a cast iron and it tastes even better. Add oil to the skillet and fry ginger garlic paste. add boneless chicken thighs salt and whole jeera seeds and fry till it changes color
then add turmeric powder red chili powder and coriander powder lost some footage at this point next add two finely chopped tomatoes finely chopped green chilies and cook let the water dry up and finally add a generous blob of butter some kasuri methi and lots and lots of coriander leaves you can serve it as a side or with roti hi guys so it's the end of the day and this is my final dish i'll just make a little bit of uh, rotis with the tawa chicken and we'll be done so i'll see you next time in my next vlog till then take care bye thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel take care